Hello, this is not Alexis. And uh, as many of you who are in this channel know, Alexis is usually the one that reviews movies. But due to um, certain circumstances, he was unable to see this film. All of them being he did not want to. <laughs> so I elected to see this film. The movie that we are going to be discussing is called Hardcore Henry. Okay, Hardcore Henry stars uh, a love interest, a bad guy, and lots and lots of enemies that are shot and killed. <laughs> it's, it's very much that kind of film. If I had a way to describe this film, it would be if you took John Wick and combined it with a Grindhouse film and then turned it into a video game. And if that sounds appealing to you, then you'll probably love this film. And if that doesn't, don't watch it. <laughs> the, the movie starts out, you know, you wake up and yeah, you're apparently a cyborg and you've woken up by your wife, who's also a scientist, and you're attacked by the main villain. And from there, he takes your wife and the whole movie is just you through multiple levels of action and nonsense as you try and fight your way to get her back. I myself really loved the film. I had a lot of fun watching it. You know, it's completely over the top. It's completely violent. You know, um, complete gore explosions and all while in the first person. And that might be a problem for some people because I understand if you're not used to playing video games or you're very easily affected and have motion sickness. You might want to skip this film because it there's a lot of scenes of him running in first person and jumping and shooting and you could you could get sick. You know, I'm not someone that's usually affected by that, but there are there were a couple of moments where I myself did start to feel a little bit queasy. A uh, real standout for this film is definitely Charlton Copley. Uh, he had a lot of fun in the role he played, and not to spoil it, but he, yeah, he had a lot of fun. And it was really interesting and cool and added another level to the whole video game aspect that the film was going for. And there was many, many scenes that felt ripped straight out of a video game. I would probably categorize it as the best video game film ever made, which isn't necessarily high praise, but it's, it's something. It's a lot, a lot of fun. And there's definitely a sense of mystery throughout the film, especially, like I said, Charles Ho Copley and his character and what exactly he wants and who exactly he is and who this bad guy is and what he wants. Not all the questions get answered, but it's definitely something that keeps you interested in the film when it does begin to slow down, which the film doesn't do very often. But other than that, there really isn't much of a story here. It really is just to so showcase the amazing action all shot from the first person's perspective. And what these filmmakers were able to do was pretty impressive considering that they didn't have much of a budget. And you can tell definitely when they begin to do some CGI scenes, the budget isn't there for them to do it. So a lot of the stunts that are performed in this film are done in real life and it's really incredible the action scenes that they've made again to re reiterate this film is not for everyone if you're into the very much hardcore over the top sort of grindhouse feel of a movie and very much a fan of first person shooters then you'll enjoy this film for what it is which is a fun fun ride and if you're not you should probably not even try you should just skip the movie so once again check out the trailer for this film if it seems like something that you'll like then you probably will like it and if it doesn't interest you then it probably will um this was my review i am not alexis and this is the bnc the place for all things movie news and reviews thank you no stop it no. King